For this problem, I'm going to multiply 2 times 3. Remember, I'm using bead bars for the multiple hand and numerals for the multiplier. So this says 2 taken 3 times. And I'm going to multiply this product by 4. So this says 2 taken 3 times taken 4 times. This is 2 taken once, 2 taken twice, 2 taken 3 times. Two. Four, six. Two taken three times equals six. Now I'm going to, mul going to multiply this by four. Six taken once, six taken twice, six taken three times, six taken four times. Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. 6 taken 4 times equals 24. So we can see that 2 taken 3 times taken 4 times equals 24. Good. I'm going to do another problem, this time using these same values but changing the order of them. This time I'm going to multiply 4 4 taken 3 times, and I'm going to multiply that product by 2. So this says 4 taken 3 times, taken 2 times. First we'll take 4 3 times, 4 taken once, 4 taken twice, Four taken three times. Four, eight, twelve. Four taken three times equals twelve. Four taken three times equals twelve. Twelve taken two times. Here's twelve taken once. Twelve taken twice. 12 taken 2 times equals 24. So, 4 taken 3 times equals 12. 12 taken 2 times equals 24. So now I need to treat the whole thing? And we can see that it didn't matter how we ordered the numbers, the products, the same values stayed the same.